upriver uh, started or started as a company probably probably about 18 years ago and we started based in Banaslow. The reason we started in Banaslow was because of the actual the the nature of the river itself, the way it meanders back on itself. So any of our eco tours that we run, you would actually start and finish on land quite close to yourself, but you end up doing a quite a big journey, almost seven kilometers of a journey when you're uh, traveling on the river. Uh, further upstream, some of our eco tours would start up near the Bonown River, up by Clonbrock Estate, which is of massive historical importance to that area. Uh, it would track you down as a tributary onto the River Suck. Then you would pass what we call the three bridges, which is the Bonown Bridge, we have the Railway Bridge, and we have what's known locally as the East Bridge, which is the one we just came down. Uh, on the way down, there's a, an abundance of wildlife. Uh, the beauty about it is that from the bridge up, there's no cruisers, so it's completely private. It's your own private little nature reserve, as it were. Um, and a, a lot of popular groups that we get are photography clubs. Uh, one of the biggest groups we got was from Florida, and the eldest member of that crew was 78 years of age. So uh, she was older than most of the cameras she was carrying. She absolutely couldn't get over. They've been back to us three times already. They can't get over. Uh, how low they can get into the water with your canoes and your kayaks and how accessible an awful lot of the wildlife is. Um, the ecotours themselves could bring you from here, theoretically speaking, to, to Limerick, but I'm sure if you paddle that far, you wouldn't be in the mood for looking at much wildlife at that stage. But uh, the River Suck itself opens up to the cruiser or to the river navigation from this point on, from Banastone Marina on. Uh, so we tend to stay out of the cruiser channels uh, not because there's any danger of that, but because you get to hear a lot more of the wildlife around you. Uh, we have a resident, uh, Wild Swan, his name is George. Uh, he's living comfortably up on the, the upper sections of the River Suck, and it's so nice to see at the start of each season, you see that clutch of, uh, of wild ch chicks hatching out for the first time. And right now, they've actually joined us in the marina behind us, so you can see they've got their grey plumage on. George, unfortunately, can be a little bit boisterous at times, but that's fun to photograph and to watch as well.